Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we have another pick a card reading today and we are going to do a what big change is coming your way, okay? So this pick a card reading is going to talk about this next big change. Is this going to be something that comes about suddenly? Um, is it a change that we're consciously making? Um, is it unexpected? You know, what big change really is coming? Okay, so I figured this would be a timeless reading. Okay, so no matter when you watch this video, if you watch it tomorrow, today, next year, whenever, hopefully this message will resonate uh, with you at any point in time. Okay. So we have three piles in front and I decided to use little Christmas bows to kind of help differentiate the piles for us. So the first one we have is pile number one with the gold bow, pile number two with the red glitter ribbon bow, and pile number three with the green ribbon. All right, so go ahead and take a minute to decide which pile is speaking to you. Now, if it helps, you can definitely choose the visuals that I have placed in front. If not, then go ahead and pause the video, close your eyes, take some deep breaths, and choose which pile is speaking to you the most, okay? Now, if you feel called to choose two piles or all three, feel free to do so, but just keep in mind that this is a general reading that not every message may resonate. However, there may be specific messages that you needed to hear, which was the reason why you were called to choose multiple piles. All right. So just wanted to throw that out there just in case for any of you who are brand new to these types of videos. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start with pile number one, and I'm going to move these off to the side real quick. All right. And we will start with pile one. All right, so we're actually going to start with your guys' oracle cards first. Um, we have your animal spirit guide message. And you guys have the weasel. Be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. All right, so your guys' change that could be coming your way is going to cause you at some point to really pay attention and be observant, okay? So I think it's going to be very crucial that you're going to be um, thinking before you act um, with this next change, all right? All right, so the next Oracle card that you have is from the Queen of the Moon Oracle, and it is action. So your change... I think that's coming your way is going to be one that requires you to take some sort of action. And that leads me to think that your guys' change that's coming up is one of your own making. So perhaps you guys could be faced with um, a certain situation or a dilemma that's causing you to really stop and evaluate your options or um, the circumstances. So then that way you know what action you're going to have to be required to take. Okay. So let's see what other message you have. You have another queen of the moon oracle realization. Okay. Yeah. So this change that's coming up is definitely one that's going to be one that you guys make, like I said. So I think it's going to be because it's going to cause you to come to some sort of realization that whatever situation you currently find yourself in is just perhaps not working out or it's not going the way that you were hoping that it would or that you initially planned. Okay. Maybe things are just either falling apart or they're, like I said, they're just not going in the direction you were hoping for. So this is going to cause you at some point to stop and reevaluate everything. Okay. But let's see what your tarot cards have to say. So you have four tarot cards. The first one we have is temperance in reverse. Okay. We have the knight of pentacles in reverse. The strength in reverse. And the eight of wands. All right. So yes, group one, I definitely am seeing action. You have two cards that validate that there is going to be some sort of action being taken, I think, and it's an, going to be on your part. Okay. So with the eight of wands, this talks about 
all about moving forward, taking action. Okay. Um, so to me, the, like I said, it tells me that you guys are going to, at some point make a decision, um, and you are going to be faced with what do I do or, um, kind of making like a pros and cons list of your current situation to dictate on how you proceed. Okay. We have the temperance in reverse, which talks about patience. And when it's in the reverse position, it's all about, um, you not maybe wanting to be patient at this point, like you would rather things would just progress on their own or either like they would just, you know, move on naturally, um, that you wouldn't have to make this decision. Um, but with the strength card in reverse, this also talks about like your willpower, like your inner willpower being challenged. And I think this is what this is teaching you or this next change is teaching you um, to have that sense of patience, to listen to your inner willpower on, you know, what it is that you truly want and how you can then move forward, you know, kind of like what this card was talking about, you know, being silent, paying attention, I think just being more in tune with yourself and your surroundings. So then that way you guys know what, um, change we will need to be able to take and in the right direction with the knight of pentacles in reverse to me this makes me think of money or finances so this next change could talk about possibly a new you know a job venture or um, either you wanting to change careers or perhaps you wanting to um, go for a um, higher position within your company and perhaps there's been something either just the timing hasn't been right for you to do so, or there's been some sort of blockage um, preventing you from actually going for it. And maybe now something has come about where, you know, you can or um, the idea is coming about where um, you're contemplating like, yes, maybe I should actually go for it, you know, but what, for whatever reason, there's still some sort of blockage and it's causing you to have to really second guess and think, should I or shouldn't I? Okay. But group one, from what I'm seeing overall is that no matter what situation is coming about, you are a hundred percent making this conscious choice for yourself. And I believe you guys are going to do it for the better. Okay. It's, this is a, I think a life lesson in some sort, because we have the, like I said, we have the temperance and the strength card in reverse, and these are challenges when they're in the reverse position, it's talking about, it's trying to challenge you. Um, so then that way you can then make the right decision for you, maybe not repeat mis prior mistakes or something to that effect. Okay. So hopefully that made sense for you guys who chose pile number one. Um, I would love to hear what feedback you guys have. Like if this did resonate, how did it, um, so please let me know in the comment section down below, and then I'm going to go ahead and move these cards off to the side. And we will start with pile two. All right. So I'm going to put the ribbon there. All right. So pile two, we are going to start with your Oracle card. So the first one we have is from your animal spirit guides. So this is a message and you have the road runner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. All right, so group number two for your change that's coming up, it looks like things may be a little tense or serious and the animal spirit guide is just trying to remind you not to lose your sense of humor, okay? So not to maybe take it so, so serious, try to relax, try to find, you know, the good in perhaps maybe the bad situation, okay? So we'll see. Let's the other messages we have are from the Queen of the Moon Oracle, and we have abundance. All right. So it looks like you guys are going to have a bunch or some sort of abundance um, that's coming up. And with this card, it talks about like a sense of harmony. So this could be abundance of love and relationship, your family, friendships, um, finances, everything could be going really, really well. You know, perhaps you've got, um, everything's just kind of working out really well and you just feel very fulfilled, all of that. And that's where the abundance comes into play. 
right? And then we have patience. So I think at some point before you come to this abundance stage, you're going to um, definitely have to have some sort of patience. You know, it's, it looks like it's not going to come as easily as you were hoping for, um, but it looks like it will still come. You know, you just kind of have to be patient for it. And um, to me, it looks like it's going to be worth the wait. So let's see what your tarot cards have to say. We have the five of wands in reverse, four of wands in reverse, the king of wands in reverse. Okay, so you guys got a lot of wand energy, but it's in reverse, so we'll talk about that. <laughs> and the nine of pentacles. Okay, so I'm going to actually move this here because this is what I'm seeing. So, Nine of Pentacles, abundance for sure. So, this is very true. Group number two, you guys are definitely going, the next big change that's coming your way is definitely going to be, um, you know, very abundant. It's going to be in not just one particular area of your life. I think you're going to have um, big changes coming in all aspects of your life, but it looks like it was something that was worked and perhaps fought hard for. Okay, so I think that's why there's that sense of patience here because it's not like it came all at once. So perhaps you've obviously been working hard um, to reach this sense of comfort or sense of security. Um, for group number two, for some of you guys, I'm seeing that with the four of wands, this, this is an actual positive card, no matter if it's in the upright or reverse position, it talks about celebration, um, things, um, coming together. And this can also talk about like a marriage. I'm um, like what this kind of, de um, depicts, sorry, that's what I was looking for. But this depicts is it shows more of like a ceremony. Um, so, but again, it doesn't have to necessarily mean like an actual wedding, but it can talk about like a union or coming together, party, all of that. Okay. And so when it's in the reverse position, it's talking about you perhaps silently, um, celebrating your accomplishments. Okay. So I know, like I said, there's, it look, feels like that you guys have been working really hard for this and you guys seem very humbled in my opinion that, um, you are definitely a hard worker, but you know, you're not looking for handouts. You're not looking for recognition for your hard work. You just, you're just doing it just to do it, whether it's for your family or for yourself, you're just really just trying to make sure that you feel some sort of security. Um, and I, I feel like it has to do with like your finances with your family. Um, and I think that's where, like I said, the abundance card talks about in all, in all aspects of your life. So I, I feel like it's definitely not just one particular thing group two that you guys are trying so hard to work on, um, or to maintain, but, um, it, it seems like the challenge or the change has been one that has required a lot of patience out of you. That's for sure. You know, um, and perhaps for you guys at some, at some point, um, when you were trying to get to this point, because I feel like, like I said, your next big change could, this could be the end result in you, you know, finally reaping the benefits of, um, your hard work and just, you know, like I said, being abundant in your relationship, your families, friendships, finances, all of that, um, that's definitely what's coming, but it seems like this is also showing the, um, like what you've been kind of putting yourself through and why maybe perhaps it has felt so serious, you know, because it's just been work, work, work and no play, so to speak, <laughs> you know, if that makes sense. Um, because with the five of wands, this is all talking, this is talking about the challenges and, um, having to adapt to certain situations that may have been difficult, for you. Okay. Um, but you had to do what you had to do or you're ha you're having to work as hard as you're having to, um, you know, 
for this reason. Okay, this sense of security, this sense of um, comfort. I, I don't know why that word keeps coming up, but I just keep thinking of that sense of comfort that you're um, ultimately looking for is going to pay off. Okay, so group two uh, definitely looks like you guys have a lot coming your way, uh, but it was definitely worth the wait. You guys put in your time and I'm definitely seeing that you're going to um, get that prosperity that you've been working so hard for. So group two, I hope that resonated with you guys. Please let me know down below if that did. Um, I mean, it looks like you guys are going to, like I said, definitely reap those benefits. So I would love to hear what exactly that was. If you guys definitely want to share that below. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our last group. Pile number three with the green ribbon or green bow. Keep saying ribbon, bow, same thing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with your oracle messages, group number three. So the first one we have is from your animal spirit guide. And you have the boar. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. All right. So group three, your change that's coming your way is going to require you to definitely face problems head on. Um, it's requiring you to have that sense of um, courage with whatever challenge or change is coming. Now you guys actually pulled three of the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards, um, and the other two only had two. So let's see what we got. We have Will. Okay. Creation. And beauty. All right. So it looks like just based off of your oracle cards that we have, your willpower looks like it's going to be tested. Um, either it's going to be tested um, in a sense where it's challenging you to maybe do something that you never thought possible, or it's challenging you to, you know, utilize your creativity. Okay. I'm seeing, you know, with the creation and beauty card, to me, I think art, like artistic. That's what I think of. So for some of you guys in group three, I feel like your creativity or your sense of artistry is going to be um, challenged in some way and perhaps causing you to change either um, like move forward or progress in your career, um, you know, utilizing your um your talents, your artistry. So I think of, I just think of makeup right off the bat, I'm not going to lie, um, because of the sense of, of the beauty card. And um, when I see the creation, I think of like a makeup artist. So if you are a makeup artist watching this, I see for you guys, your next big change would be um, a change within your career, what it is that you guys want. Are you going to make this a full-time thing? Are you going to um, step up your Instagram? Are you going to step up or start YouTube? You know, something to that effect is what I'm seeing for you guys for group three, um, you know, with this, with this change that's coming. Okay. But let's see what your tarot cards have to say. All right. So the first one we have is the nine of wands. Oh, the 10 of cups, the 10 of pentacles. Wow, guys. And the eight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I'm definitely seeing you guys are coming to some sort of completion and that's going to be your next big change. So this completion is going to be due from your skill set. Um, I think for those of you who are, like I said, artists, and I, I just make up artists keeps coming back to me because this is the skill or craftsman card. And this talks about you um, fine tuning your skills and you really trying to work on them or hone in on them or do the extra work. Um, so that way you can be a per, um, a perfectionist at your craft. Okay. And 
with that, with you guys doing that, I definitely see you guys putting in the hard work here with the nine of wands. This talks about you having done like a job well done and you're finally able to um, reap the benefits of, of all your hard work. Okay. So I think for those of you guys who have some sort of skill in artistry, whether you're a painter or a makeup artist, what you're doing is Perhaps the next big change could be you um, taking extra classes or um, like what starting a YouTube channel or starting something that's going to really grow your business. OK, and it's um, definitely something that you're working towards or working on, because with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, this is all about completion. This is all about security, financial security here with the pentacles, okay? And with the cups, this talks about family, friendships, finances, everything. Love, you know, happiness, marriage, all of those good qualities is here within the Ten of Cups. And with having the Ten of Pentacles here too, talking about like your finances being in such a great position. Um, the next big change for you guys, group three, I think is definitely going to be t with your guys's, um, uh, finances with your jobs and your careers. Okay. So even if you're not a makeup artist, but you are an artist or you're, um, some type of craftsman or engineer. Okay. Cause with the creation card, so something obviously that you create, okay, is going to be fine-tuned and really, um, I think, perfected. And you guys are ultimately going to reap the benefits of that. So um, I hope this resonated with you guys and hopefully that made sense. Um, I would love to hear what exactly it was that worked out for you guys if you guys chose pile number three. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on future videos like this please go ahead and comment down below if you are not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe or hit the like button if you enjoyed this video um and yeah i would love to hear from you guys if like i said if you have any suggestions or comments i would love to hear from you otherwise i will see you in my next video bye